Rate Loss Study of Crystal Violet and Sodium Hydroxide. Here are the materials that you'll need. First, we're going to calibrate the spectrophotometer and select a wavelength for study. So to begin here, I'm going to select Calibrate and I'm going to choose uh, the instrument, the spectrophotometer, and I'm going to need to allow the lamp to warm up for a bit here. So once this lamp has warmed up, we'll be able to put a blank cuvette into the machine and we're basically telling the machine to not see uh, you know, anything in solution like the water or the sides of the cuvette or anything like that. So now that the bulb inside is warmed up, we're going to take a blank. So this is just a cuvette filled with distilled water. Clean it off with some of those lint-free wipes. And we're going to go ahead and hit finish calibration. So we're just telling the machine here to not see uh, the cuvette or the solution. So now that we have this calibrated, our next step is going to be to select a wavelength to study this compound at. So again, cleaning off a cuvette. This is a cuvette of crystal violet, which is the concentration we're going to be measuring. So I'm just going to run a complete spectrum and we can see here that it absorbs very strongly in the yellow, orange, green region, which makes sense because it's purple. So the color that it doesn't uh, absorb is the color that is transmitted and that's the color it appears. So now I'm just looking around where this peak is and I'm just looking at where my wavelengths are at the highest absorbance and I've decided to choose uh, 590.4 nanometers here. So I'm going to need to prepare several solutions from a stock solution. So this is an example of those calculations that we would need. So I want to set the uh, instrument to measure the absorbance versus concentration and I'm setting it to that 590.4 nanometers. So I'm going to construct a calibration curve here. So I'm going to take each cuvette. I know the concentration of crystal violet in that cuvette. So I'm going to clean it off and place it into the instrument here. And I'm going to start collecting data. So it's going to measure the absorbance of that solution. And when I hit the keep button, it's going to ask me to type what the concentration is. So I'm going to repeat this for several different con, uh, concentrations here so that we can see our uh, relationship between absorbance and concentration. Now my curve gets a little uneven here at the end. We see it's not exactly linear. That's what happens whenever your solutions aren't well made. So now we want to actually begin to prepare for the reaction. So I have some crystal violet solution here and I'm going to measure out 2.5 milliliters of this solution into my cuvette. So we're going to mix these chemicals together in the cuvette and then measure the absorbance as the reaction occurs. So adding 2.5 milliliters of my crystal violet solution. And then the next thing that I'm going to want to measure out is my NaOH, which has been standardized so we know the concentration uh, very precisely here. Now I've chosen to do this with a micropipette because the way that a micropipette delivers the liquid inside um, is a lot more controllable. So I'm going to use this micropipette to draw up a milliliter of this sodium hydroxide solution. So once I have that prepped and ready to go, I'm going to need to place the cuvette inside the spectrophotometer and uh, add the NaOH and observe the reaction. So we want to uh, try to do this sort of uh, in tandem here. 
So first I'm gonna set the spectrophotometer to measure concentration versus time. And I'm making sure that that same wavelength, that 590.4 nanometers is selected. So I'm gonna place the cuvette, which contains our crystal violet solution into the uh, spectrophotometer. Again, wiping off the side, making sure that the clear side is facing the correct way. And I'm going to grab my micro pipette. And what I want to do is add the NaOH while almost simultaneously starting to collect data. So I'm going to use both hands here. It's a little tricky, but I'm going to add the uh, sodium hydroxide solution. You see, I accidentally sucked a little bit up into the pipette. And then I want to start collecting data. So we see that the absorbance is decreasing uh, after I added that sodium hydroxide solution. So we'll just speed this up a little bit so we can get through the entire reaction. So over time, eventually this absorbance is going to reach zero. And that would be whenever all of the crystal violet has reacted. So just so you see what's happening inside of the cuvette, uh, once that NaOH solution is added, we can see that this solution, which is very purple, starts to fade and starts to become uh, more colorless over time. So eventually that solution will turn clear. Please remember to use the data set provided with the assignment.